who is Shia Gassi? Who, who was he? Where, where did he come from? What kind of person is he? And, and in what way did the company that he founded reflect him and his personality? As I said, Shai Gassi was an entrepreneur who, uh, who had mo most previously worked at SAP. Before that, SAP is a, uh, uh, one of the largest uh, enterprise software companies in the world. They're based in Germany. They had offices in Palo Alto, and he worked in their office in Palo Alto. Before that, he had, uh, he had programmed computers. He built other companies. He sold one of them to SAP. Before that, he raised more money, sold that one. So he was a very successful, very well-connected entrepreneur. He was brilliant. Um, the best way to describe him, and I shouldn't say in the past tense because he's, he's still alive and kicking, but the best way to describe him in his better place days was like the Israeli version of Steve Jobs. He, was, you know, he could talk anyone into believing whatever he wanted you to believe. Just like Steve Jobs had what everyone was called a kind of a reality distortion field where he would believe something and no one else would believe it and then he would eventually convince you that it was true and then he would eventually get the product built and that's why you have the Macintosh and the iPhone and the iPad and, and everything else. And Shai was like that. He could make things happen that didn't exist before and to its credit and I know Better Place doesn't exist today and we'll get to that, you know, that's why you're here, that's why the book is called The Billion Dollar Crash of the Car That Took On Big Auto, Big Oil in the World. But you know, when he built it, he built something that did not exist before, a car that could switch batteries, that could go anywhere, and it was an amazing accomplishment, and he was a true visionary.